Hello, all my nerd friends out there. This is Mr. Chili here, and happy holidays. I hope everyone had a wonderful Sunday. Hope they had a great holidays with their family and friends. But we got treated to Bleach Thousand Year Blood War season finale. And a two part episode, an hour special. He threw everything at us, gave us a wonderful gift. And what an episode. This was basically, we get to see the real Ichigo Kurosaki. We get to learn everything about his backstories, about his parents, his senpato, and we got to see his new transformation. Basically, this fool, this dude, Ichigo, had a crazy beginning. Like, he is the chosen one. <laughs> he is Neo from the Matrix. He has everything, basically. Hollow. We saw that already, his hollow transformation. Quincy now, blood in it running through his veins. Hollow, uh, Soul Reaper, uh, human, all in combined in one since birth. And show us why, why he's been so strong. What happened to his mother when he, she fought that Soul Reaper and that Soul Reaper bit her. And that DNA became basically part of his Simpato. Um, that hollow, that is the hollow that attacked his mother uh, that's inside of him. Um, then you saw the Soul Reaper, his father, basically save his mother's life from getting that, from that poison ho hollow, sacrifice his life of a Soul Reaper. So he had to be, become a human himself to be half human, half Soul Reaper. And that brings the Soul Reaper DNA. Now we learn that Yamawatch, every Quincy is born that uh, has the blood of Yamawatch in a way. He created Quincy. He created that blood deadline. That's why he was a, his son Pato, he saw Yama Watch in it. And uh, even um, his mother basically saw him. And we got to learn uh, what happened, her death as well. Basically, kind of like another way that Ichigo, another story begins as well. Because we saw, we knew, we knew he, she got killed by this hollow. Um, and... Uh, we're wondering why. I even asked the question last time. Why uh, she didn't use her Quincy power? We know why now. I guess and it's not even just affecting Ichigo too. The moment it affected Uyu's life as well. We found out too. I didn't even know this. Maybe I it mentioned it a while back as well. But Uyu mom died that day as well. Not just Ichigo mom died. But um, Uyu's wife died. Um, mom died as well. Because of Yao Watch. Because Yao Watch was getting kind of reborn again after the last war. He got destroyed, but the coming of him, he gathered all his strength out of all the Quincy's. That's why you haven't seen most of a lot of the Quincy's fight no more, except for Uyu. Uyu is the last of the Quincy's. And the day that his mother, his mother was strong enough, he's, his father said, his mother could have took out that hollow like that. You saw what happened against that other hollow. She kicked that hollow's ass, that bitter. Um, but, because Young Watch came back and took all his powers away from all the Quincy's, took her power at the worst timing moment, and basically that Hollow was able to kill him. She became a normal human. And that's sad. And just, there's so much connection now, so much answers a lot of questions. Like, who is this uh, Sampato, this guy that Ichigo, is he just another, like, a figure, imagination of Ichigo, another being? We understand the Hollow now more, too, because. That's the hollow that affected his mom that gave birth to him. So that makes more sense. Um, even more, even that answered the question, why, how he's got this hollow inside of him. And what happened to his dad? His dad um, Luke, um, giving him all his power right now. What a love relationship that was. That was a beautiful relationship. Like he was ready to sacrifice everything. His whole soul reaper life. Give it all for her to save her. Just perfect relationship. They, lucky it worked out that way. A relationship. Imagine he just became just a regular doctor and then end up together, whatever. But lucky that relationship happened. We got Ichigo out of it. But just a tragic story with mom. And it was tragic to begin with, but even more that Young Watch had to do with it. So this fight could be even more personal with Ichigo and Young Watch. And learning about his Sampato was kind of even more heartful moment right there, you know? Because we, we, every time you show these flashbacks during the show, it can, and brings so much memories. It brings us to remember. And that's good he's doing that, you know? Because I, even I don't remember everything from way ago. From the manga, from the anime, of all Ichigo's journey. And when he shows that, brings back memories. Like, oh, shoot, I remember when he, he was training. All the training he did with the Senpato and the Hollow. All those training. 
Now I could see why he was so conflict, why he wasn't able to um, create the first time create his sampato and go through that training process. wasn't able. He was cast out. Now he knows everything. Now he knows his life. Now he knows to accept that hollow, to accept that sampato and that um, senjutsu, to accept them more. Why that? Even he, he explained to that when he went to go see the senjutsu that he was holding him back this whole time. They didn't want that Quincy bloodline. That Quincy inside, they don't want to become a soul reaper. That Hollow was doing a lot of the work, holding, um, trying to get that power out from Senjutsu. Well, they're both Senjutsu, but they were just so conflict in him. Now they broke that conflict. Now we're seeing the real Ichigo Kawasaki. Imagine if there he wasn't holding back. He would defeat an Aizen like that a while back. Um, this was a, a Ichigo for a long time. The Ichigo we knew. Was the Ichigo that was held back so much power, so much strength, so much all that stuff. But even he was happy to let go of this power, this, to able to uh, see him grow and everything. Even he is the enemy. Yama watched probably a little part of Yama watching him that stuck with him. If you stick with someone that long, and you probably should hate the guy, you should do everything in power, but you you grew attached. You grew attached to each other, and I wonder if Yama watch feels that he had. By leaving that little blood inside of him, not well, not leaving him, but that little soul, that little piece of Yamawachi, Watch, I like to say, I wonder if he felt anything. He knows that was in him. Young Watch knew that that Ichigo was talking inside of him. I believe so. I believe. So I wonder when we see another conflict between Ichigo and Young Watch, will Young Watch uh, tell him about all that conflict? Will he know what he was, or that was just another personality like Senjutsu? Would um. Yeah, I watch explain or talk more or like saying, hey, I, that was part of me. I know what happened. They see, Yeah, I watch know anything about that. Probably not. Probably that was just a whole nother being that was just uh, Yeah, I watch that you think each Queen, um, Quincy have. Like I say, he, he's in in all Quincy's blood. He's in Ichigo, Yuri's, anyone that's a Quincy, Yeah, I watch is part of him. So that's just a crazy story we got, man. In the now Ichigo has two blades, two sunpaktos. That's basically two senjutsu. That's dope. Dope. I can't wait to see Ichigo fight. It was a great episode, great finale to see. And I love it all, all the way, man. It sucks it's over. I right. can't wait till it comes back. It's probably going to come back around October again. I'm kind of glad they do animes uh, break apart, you know, break. Uh, like this because the animation comes back so great because this anime season was so awesome. This Ble Bleach Thousand Year Blow War, mwah, the animation was just great. And the story was just awesome and keeps me wanting more. Every week it was a treat, a good, I just felt happy watching it. These are all the emotions running through me. I love feeling this way. Love feeling happy. It was great to watch it. I was excited. And just the battles. Oh, I can't wait for next season. All the battles that season. Um, just it's gonna be a long wait, and that's it sucks. You know, we gotta wait months till it comes back. And uh, but what a great finale it was. You know, I'm gonna miss Bleach Thousand Year uh, Blood War, and I can't wait till it comes back. Uh, and definitely uh, we they left up with a great banger as well. Uh, Yuri. Uh, uh, not Yuri. Uh. Uyu, Uyu, forgive me if I mispronounce his name. Uh, Yuyu, uh, Sarada, Sarada. Um, Ichigo's friend, Quincy's friend, went to go see Young Watch, and it looks like they might be teaming up. We kind of see that happening. He's Quincy, Young Watch, Quincy. He's gonna join the fight. He's mostly gonna be the Quincy side, but we'll see if he changes side, be a double agent. You never know, man. He. It's going to be hard. Like I said, they've been fighting together side by side for so long. You think he's going to just toss out of side because the other, the enemy this time is the Quincy's, maybe. He's, he loves the Quincy so much. He loves his bloodline. He loves his um, the, the Quincy way. But uh, so he right now, he's um, basically in a conflict as well with his friends and his, his group, his people, the Quincy's. So... Right now, he's got to find his way. This is affecting a lot of people. A lot of Soul Reaper. We see the other Soul Reaper captains training and getting ready. And everyone's going through the training arts, getting stronger for the next fight, the big war, the big finale. So it was epic. Love this episode. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts. 
What do you guys think of the two-part finale? Are you going to miss Bleach, Thousand Year Blood War? What do you think is going to happen in the next part of anime? I can't wait. I'm not going to catch up with no manga. Uh, I already read all the manga, but like I said, I don't remember everything. I don't remember everything. I want to stick like that because I want this feeling to stay. Sometimes I'm reading the manga and uh, watching the show kind of brings that excitement to you. But I'm glad I did read the manga because I know and it's bringing that excitement back that I felt reading the manga as well. So it works out both ways. But comment below. I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on these two episodes of the grand finale of the season. Please comment below. Love talking nerd stuff for you all. But thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a good day. And good night. And remember, stay nerdy forever. Bye.